Okay, so in this example, we'll look at moving past a simple multiple choice question to allow a learner to uh, input their own answer and then to compare that with that of an expert. So obviously a valuable technique in e-learning is to encourage the learner to apply what they've learned. And so what we're going to do, how we'll do that in this example, is we're going to use a text variable in Storyline to uh, create a really quick knowledge check and ask the learner to tell us what they think they would do or how to respond to a situation. And we're not going to grade them, right, because it's an open-ended question, but we want them to kind of reflect on what they chose as they compare it with that of an expert. So let's go ahead and capture the learner's name real quick. So we'll work with a, a text entry field here. So input, data entry, text. And we'll just set that up on the slide. And let's change the name here. We'll call this one. Uh, so, so by default, right, it's going to be called text entry here. But what I want to do is I want to change it in the properties. And we'll call this one compliance name client's name and text and defaults fine. So we want to capture the learner's name just like we did before. Now we're going to um, personalize it. So we're kind of repeating a little bit of what we did. So here we go with this percent sign compliance name percent sign. And we'll just also put it right here on the slide compliance name. And I will uh, center it right there. So we got the name from the learner. Now let's come down here and uh, present that situation to them. Here's our policy. So it's a review. Maybe there's some slides of content. And then we want to give them a situation. And we're asking them, what should you do? You notice someone in the uh, building without the proper identification badge, person doesn't belong, what should you do? And so here's another example, a way that we can use a text entry. We want to add a text entry here and get them to uh, enter what they think they should do as a way to uh, report a, a suspicious character. So again, we're going to come to insert, and we just want to drop in another text field. This will be the first time we've had multiple uh, variables here on the slide. So I'm going to drop, make it a little bit bigger, and maybe just add a border to it. All right. Now what I'll do here is I want to rename this because this one also got named text entry and that's what Storyline is going to keep doing. If you don't change the names on these, uh, as you go through each one, Storyline will say text entry, text entry one, text entry two, um, and so on. So it's helpful to name these quickly and early because uh, if you're working on a bigger project, you're going to have a lot of these in here, text entry and so on. So we'll call this compliance situation. And that's also going to be a text box. Uh, click OK. So that obviously updates it here for us, which I totally love. So it uh, makes it really easy uh, in here. And then in the final slide, we have our compliance officer's response, what they would recommend you do. It's just a text box that we're going to display the message. And then we're going to use the variable reference right here to display uh, what they should do. So I'm going to copy. I just want this background. Well, actually, <laughs> let me show you something. Right, so I'm gonna, I'll leave that, I'll take that off of there. So let's first drop in the uh, reference, right? So insert tab, text box, right? And we'll insert the reference field here for compliance situation. We don't, we already used their name. Uh, we could put their name elsewhere in here, work it into the slide, but I think that's fine. Compliance situation, and that's it. So what I'd like to see happen here is I wanna format it just like I did this rectangle. Um, so I can grab this rectangle, come up here to Home, Format Painter, and then click on that box, and it adds the uh, background and the stroke for me. Now, if I resize it, you'll see that it, he, the text is set to the alignment in the middle. That's fine. So I can come in here and say Align Text Top, and now I have these two boxes, although this is really just a rectangle, and this is the text box, a rectangle with that text entered inside of it. So uh, just a quick way to kind of get the formatting to align right there. Uh, when I look at this, it's going to be blank right now if I were to preview the slide because I haven't adjusted this variable. But when I'm here and I enter something, it's going to carry my answer over here. So let's preview the scene. All right, so we'll jump through, type my name. 
David. Hey, David, we're going to get along fine here. Good to hear it. Now you're going to throw me in a situation. What would I do? I see someone. I would report. Or I would approach the stranger and ask if he's lost. Anyway, something like that. Click next. And then here's my answer compared with the compliance officer. Now I could have another call to action down here that says, Hey, if you didn't, you know, maybe there was, um, I highlighted some words here. I had some call out phrases or actions to take. And if I didn't, you know, if I didn't see those in my answer, I could click a button or go somewhere else for additional information. But this is really to let the learner compare what they would do with that of an expert without really treating it like a formal quiz. And it's also a way to create a, a learning journal, right? You could have an open-ended uh, field like this after each chapter or module or slide or whatever, and then based on the answer from the learner, uh, move them ahead and then let them review their answers at the end of the course. This could be an end of course slide or series of slides based on uh, the challenges that were presented to the learner throughout uh, the project. But just another way to use text entry fields as an easy way to uh, collect data from the learner.